I need a drink. Yeah, me too. Give me one, please. What type? Uh, probably anything you hand me, as long as it's alcoholic. Okay, that's what I wanted to know was, do you want water, or soda, or alcohol? <clears throat> Ooh, I could unfollow Gentleman's Gank. That's sort of like a type of drink. So, uh, how are you, Dom? I'm pretty good. How are you guys? That's good. I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. I, uh, actually compiled a quite a large list of topics. Oh, cool. Um, Is one of them guest starring Tim? <laughs> <laughs> guest starring Tim? I think we can make Tim. it tonight. Didn't you, you've, like, interviewed Tim, like, four times. Where, where you have oh, a guest. no, no, no. No, no, no. That's that's a segment. I just I just have topics to talk about. Oh, what is the difference? Uh, one is like a, a whole deal, and the other isn't. Oh. What does that even yeah. mean? <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Um. So first of all, uh, I found a new fire emblem ripoff that we're gonna do for. Oh, uh, is it three houses? No. Ha. <laughs> uh, uh. I mean, listen, there's something fun about calling Three Houses of Fire Emblem their boss. Uh, no, it's Fire Emblem Scarlet Rising, and oh, so it's Emblem. it's a it's a ROM hack, and it's from the minimal amount of research I did on it, it's uh a single map. But it's like all of the maps in the game sized single map. So what, what does that mean? Uh, the guy did that I saw did like a 30 minute video on it, and he did one round of combat, like one cycle of combat in that time. That sounds like a horror Because movie. it's like a thousand by a thousand with like hundreds of enemies in there. It's it's a slow move to the end. Presumably everyone drops money or weapons or stuff, otherwise it would be terrible. So and uh, the the other thing, it's a western. Oh, so are there like guns? I I didn't do enough research to find out, but I'm interested in a western fire. Wild Wild West. No Jim West Desperado here. I really hope it's like the weird Weird West kind of stuff where it's just like, oh yeah, your classes are uh, samurai, <laughs> gunslinger. There's <laughs> like, like all the stuff that like, yeah, these are technically around at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see, samurai were at the same time as like Vikings. And... So that, that's why I, I really like it when it's like, hey, we're gonna do a thing with samurai, and we're gonna do all the things that are contemporary with samurai, which is like, like 300 years of history. So we've yeah. got knights and Vikings, and also uh, tanks and. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it's just like, oh yeah, these have been around for so long that like, it, it's not a point of his in history. It is a large yeah. time period with a lot of invention. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that's the thing we need to to do. Uh, in the upcoming future, I don't remember. Let me look and see whether we've made that a Tuesday or a Wednesday show. I think it's a Wednesday show. Yeah. So we're gonna do one round per uh, per show. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Do you like like two rounds a night and. Are we gonna role play the whole time? No, no, this this would be Hack Finder, so we would just do voices for things. Oh gosh. <laughs> if we did an F E and D of yeah, No yeah. <laughs> I mean like even then uh, like okay, we'll do a hack finder, so we'll do voices. 
Except that no one's gonna be talking because it's just gonna be one really big map of combat. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's gotta they gotta break it up somehow. I don't I don't know how they're doing it. Maybe you um. Maybe after two turns, a hurricane comes through and kills everyone except for thirteen <laughs> units, and then you have to use those for the rest of the game. Um. So the next thing on my uh, list was so. We got a letter from the Jehovah's Witnesses. Amazing. <laughs> they, uh, they apologized for not being able to come door to door, but they thought this was a good substitute. Oh, I'm not apologizing for that, for sure. <laughs> no. So, I read through it and I was like, huh. Huh. Trash. Yep. Yeah. It's wacko. Yeah. That that and like uh, moments are both like absolutely yeah. like not normal to look yourself. Yeah. Like, I saw someone describe the Mormonism. Seventh Day Adventists are the same. Say again. Seventh Day Adventists are the same. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Oh before. yeah. Uh, they're functionally the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. Like, they believe the same thing, they just... They, like, one tenant they think is different. It's like PCA versus PCUSA. Okay, yeah. Catholicism um, and Anglicanism. I, I did recently see someone describe um, Mormonism as... Catholicism, but with all with all the or it's all the repression of Catholicism, but none of the sexiness or aesthetic. <laughs> okay, yeah. And like, or, right, or history. Cause, yeah, because like Catholic churches go off. All right, like regardless of like everything else about it, like I, it's hard to be mad about like how insanely like beautiful they are. Yeah. And they flaunt that too, whereas oh, yeah. with Mormonism, you can't even go in their churches, basically. Unless you're a believer. Something like that. They, they, they're set up like a tabernacle, and you can't go into the, the like, Holy of Holies. Unless you're a full member, which, you know, you have to, like, give your first 13 children to <laughs> sacrifice your first 13 children. <laughs> You've got to have at least 13 children. I think you might be exaggerating the sacrificing part, but it sounds like the having part is legit from yeah. what I've read. <laughs> I mean, sacrificing part is correct too, but it's less literal. Like, it's, it's not death sacrifice, it's just, oh yeah, they have to be here forever now. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sacrificing all the fun in their life for yeah. the ability to go. <laughs> Uh. So, I have a question for you okay. that I heard on another podcast, and I I disagreed with their final result. Let's say you make a lasagna. Uh, already an awful lasagna. You, you you make a lasagna. You made this lasagna. Then, in another separate pan you make another lasagna. So now you have two lasagnas. Yeah, two lasagna. You put them in the oven, you bake them, you pull them out, and then, let's say you take one of the oh, lasagnas. Oh, I know what you're saying. So how do you know which one's the real lasagna and which one's the clone? <laughs> no. <laughs> you take one of the lasagnas you've baked, and you put it on top of the other lasagna you baked. Mm -hmm. Do you now have one or two lasagnas? Um, I don't think lasagna is a, I, I think lasagna is like dirt. You can't have a dirt. You have a, like, um, like a, a quantity of the thing. So, cause like in the same vein, if you took a lasagna and you cut it in half, how many lasagnas do you have? See, I'd argue you would have one lasagna cut in half. Well then what's the size of one lasagna? Uh, the size you baked it at <laughs> is is my opinion. Okay. You could so... make 
I, I, I think that you could make a small lasagna, and that would be a small lasagna. I think you could make a giant lasagna, that would be one giant lasagna. And if you portion it out, you have multiple portions of the giant or small lasagna. Interesting theory. My, my, my view is, like, yes, I understand lasagna is, is just a bunch of things stacked on top of each other in layers. So, presumably, if you took a bunch of layers stacked on top of each other and put it on top of a bu another bunch of layers stacked on top of each other, you just have an extra tall lasagna. But- Wait a second. Well, okay, never mind. I, I figured it out then. If you took baked two lasagnas and you put them on top of each other, you would still have two lasagnas because a lasagna is the size that you baked it at, according to you. Which that means, is- I agree. Yes. Yeah. I agree. So when you stack them, it would still be two lasagnas. It would be two lasagnas stacked on top of each other. Thank you. But I don't think like, lasagna I, I, is <laughs> a word that can be pluralized. It is. It's lasagna, I guess. L-A-S-A-G-N-A-E. The worst part about spelling lasagna is the fact that you have to start off by spelling lasagna. <laughs> which is impossible by itself. Yeah, I might have struggled when I got to where the G is supposed yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> L-A-S-A-G-N-A-S-E. <laughs> N-A-E. Okay. I'm glad we got that out of the, out of the way. Um, I'm just flying through this news. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of anything to else down. that you could, like, make two of and put next to each other and it would increase the size of it rather than be two i don't know i mean like liquids like if you made two punches and then you poured them into the same bowl you've just made one punch uh, one punch! <laughs> <laughs> uh okay i i actually have one for you that disproves this whole theory if you bake a cake and then you bake another cake and set it on top you have one Two layer cake. Okay, so I I thought about this. This this is so one of the things I thought it's about. It's a two layer lasagna. No 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 no, because you do some other stuff. You don't just take two pieces of cake and put them on top of each other. You take the cake, then you spread some frosting around it, and then you put another piece of cake on top, and then you cover the entire thing in frosting, binding the two. Oh, okay. Rounds so if you, into a single. Okay, so if you put the lasagna if, if, if on you top took... of each other and then added some cheese and melted them together, then it would be yes. one lasagna. I would agree, because then you're altering the lasagnas. <laughs> Pray lasagna, you don't Jonathan. alter it further. <laughs> I do not alter. I have altered the lasagna. <laughs> This, I have altered the lasagna, pray I don't alter it further, is a very good sentence to be able to tell people. <laughs> oh. I, I was, on that, that topic, I was playing a game with someone earlier, and I heard what is going to be one of my favorite things to just say in conversation. Uh. One of the people we were playing with has bad internet, bad, like, Discord connection as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, half of their words come through. And at one point, like, I asked a question, and all we got was, do. And... <laughs> my friend's response to that was, did you just say yes in Furby? <laughs> <laughs> Which... The, in the Furby language, do means yes. Is it really? but Wait, why do they know that? <laughs> well, because they're, they're insane. No, most of us are normal and didn't Furbies. have Furbies. <laughs> oh, gross. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Yeah, it's called Robo Furby. <laughs> no. It's not, it's actually uh, being a demonologist. <laughs> yeah. Um. So... I, I didn't understand that, so I all I heard was, you know, someone said something, and they said, Did you just say blah and Furby? Yeah, no, that's just a good thing to ask someone when you don't know what they say. 
Yeah, and and now that's what I'm I'm gonna say is any time someone only says works something. With things that actually. No, it doesn't. No, it it, it doesn't. Yeah. It, it actually doesn't. Yeah. No, it, it works fine because no one is gonna be able to call you out on it, and if they do, then they've admitted that they know the Furby language. Uh, I just really like the idea of like someone's like Snurgle Murph pop or, or whatever, the, like something garbled comes through, and, and you're Murf just pop. like, yeah, no, that might actually be just, Furby. I think that was. Did you just Furby. say feed me in Furby? Yeah. But that's not. That's not something that the Furby says. <laughs> Sorry, there are apparently those of us here with unnatural knowledge. And that doesn't mean an unnatural amount of it. That means knowledge that is not natural. Like, I think Furbies yeah, are yeah. literally the closest we've gotten to Lovecraftian horror. Kristen, do you want to share your Furby story? I've already heard it once today. What? I haven't told you my Furby story today. <clears throat> nope, you haven't. You really need to stop playing with my brother. <laughs> It's a bad influence <laughs> on you. you can't oh, see him is, is he the one that knew the Furby language? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you know we what? all knew the Furby language. See, this is this is what I didn't I didn't put those parts together because yeah, that makes a lot of sense that that's the one that would know it. Uh, that's because we had a Furby. Yeah, a lot of people have yeah. Furbies. You want to share the story? Well, do then? you have any amount of memory then? No. Because the Furby says do a lot, like a lot, a lot. I made a point of not staying in the same room as a Furby for very long. <laughs> I thought it was it was a good goal in life to have to just not interact with Furbies. Sure. Those things are unnatural. I can tell the Furby story if you want. <laughs> If you really want to hear story. it again, it's 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 yet another example of why you shouldn't have Furbies. I didn't buy the Furby. The Furby was a Christmas present. I yeah, no, I don't look up sexy Furby and see if I can. No, no, I don't want to no. see it. I just want to know if it's been created. You know it's been created. <coughs> yeah, but I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to see it. Yes, I, I don't want to see it because I think it'll be good. I want to see it because I'm, like, curious in a horrible way. It is a horrible way. <sighs> Alright, carry on. So, I got the Furby for Christmas one year, and, you know, played with it for a while because... You know, it was interesting, strange, different, kind of creepy. But then for the most part, it just kind of sat on a shelf. And then I watched Gremlins for the first time and uh, just noticed the striking resemblance between the... I don't remember what they're called before they get fed after Mogwai. midnight. Mogwai, thank you. And the Furby, so I, I pulled it out to look at it and see that, yeah, yeah, no, Furbies are definitely designed with them in mind. But, you know, watched the movie kind of late at night and then pulled out the Furby and looked at it. Didn't turn it on or anything, just was, you know, assessing the similarities. And I wasn't exactly the tidiest of young people. <laughs> so I set it down you know, just kind of on the floor because I was going to bed. I didn't want to deal with putting everything away properly. And then I wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> to the sound of the Furby talking. The Furby, the Furby was saying, Furby, hungry. And I was never able to make it work again. Yeah, I changing it, the battery. I tried. Oh, I didn't realize it died. I thought you heard that you threw it across the room instantly, which I think would be an incredibly fair, like, response. I was not gonna climb down from the top bunk just to grab something on the floor. But yeah, it was pretty creepy and pretty weird and pretty sad because it just starved to death right then and there. I don't know if that's sad's the right term. Yeah. 
I think that was a blessing. A, a poorly disguised blessing. A blessing in disguise wrapped in, like, plastic wrap for Christmas. You guys are scared way too easily. Uh, no, it's not really fear, it's just more like, huh, I don't want to be around this thing, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Oh, is that an option? Yeah. That's what's, that's, that's why, I, uh, <laughs> that's why I work in the back office at work, so I don't have to be around people. She just left. Oh, I, I left the, the call. For, that for was the joke. Who, oh, nice. Who couldn't. I was hoping you, like, left the room. Like, you just took your headphones off and walked out. <laughs> no. no, I left the call. <laughs> no, wife, come back. <laughs> yeah, John me. just hears the front door close. A couple minutes later, the car turns on. Oh, no. <sighs> they thought yep. I'd leave without you. <laughs> the car turns on, car turns off immediately, <laughs> walks back in and grabs the dog. <laughs> walks back out. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so uh, there's, you. there's some news like like real world news that uh gross scares me a little. So this was random news I got on from Nevada. I don't know why I got this this Nevada news because none of it has anything Vasa. to do with me. Um, but oh. uh, apparently Nevada's doing pretty badly and um, uh, like funding and stuff and, and they, they needed a new source of uh, like taxes and stuff. So, so they asked you? There is a company <laughs> that is working to build a city. A completely smart city. That will be run by the company. And the internet will run everything. And uh, digital currency will be everywhere. It'll be... Um, like completely smart city. That sounds horrible. Yeah, it's it's I don't want to just literally like... cyberpunk. It's it's really just like, hey, you know what's really cool? Everyone loves cyberpunk 2077. Let's do that. I was no. just thinking like iRobot. Yeah, which is uh, cyberpunk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not, not 2077, but it is a cyber, like, cyber, is, is it cyberpunk? It's like dystopian uh, robot future, but I I've don't never know heard it called cyberpunk. cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is like a, a specifically like grimy type of future where like things are bad, but it doesn't look pretty about it. Like it, it's just straight up like everyone's like, yeah, this place sucks. Is I robot? I'm just... He was Googling it. No. <laughs> I know you know, but I'm just mad anyway. Alright, well, it, this is a frequent question in r slash cyberpunk. And... Is there a verdict? Interesting, this person says they don't think it qualifies because it's not dystopian. Is it iRobot kind of dystopian? Well, okay, here's the thing. It, it isn't. Because, like, the future itself is fine, it's just the one robot problem that happens. But it's not like everything sucks all the time. Okay, yeah. I'm glad you remembered enough about it to answer, because I didn't. Yeah, I've never seen it. So apparently, Cyberpunk was written in response to things like iRobot. That makes sense. Uh, 
So the movie is only a shadow of the book, but in it you have the 1950s society, but with infinity drives and strong AI. But it's it's different from cyberpunk in that there's there's not a whole lot of punk or countercultural elements in it. Yeah. Uh, and like they they point out when Gibson wrote Neuromancer, he very specifically thought of things like iRobot and thought, where's the mob? Where's the drugs? Where have all the thieves gone? Yeah. Yeah, because like in that in that Which... like respect, it's an attempted um, like futuristic utopia because none of those things exist. Yeah, there's just the one problem. Yeah. But the 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 difference I think is that this is definitely cyberpunk because the, there are humans. Oh. Like, utopia will never exist. Well, yes, but, like, like, that's in every book, so, like, you can't use that as a way of saying if there are humans, no. it is... No, I, I think that all books that feature utopias are inherently flawed. Well, yes. Like, that's, that's, that's just usually... not an ideal that exists. Yeah, that's usually why they're depicted like they are. Yeah. I, I think that, it, just in general, things will devolve into people being criminals and the mob existing and like that's just the way things work uh, I agree to an extent but I definitely feel like there are still ways to make it less like like there are worlds where there is less of that still not a utopia but you know Yeah, so this company wants to be in charge, and I mean of everything. They want legal control within the place. Yeah, they want not... policing. That's, that's, that's such a bad plan. It's so disturbing. Yeah, it's 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 currently not like provided for by any legal structure in the world. But Nevada's like the the governor is <laughs> the governor received like. Two hundred thousand dollars for their um, uh, campaign from this company, uh, and is pushing for uh, legislation to allow uh, what what is the term that they used? Experimental zones that would allow for companies you know what, to. You know, what fascinates me about this: the fact that the sentence that you said that was a company paid so whoever however much money to create this concept. Already proves that the dystopia is here. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of a company running, overtly running an entire city. Yeah. Bad, like, bad I mean, feel. I know that big companies already do that, but the fact that they don't even need to hide it and they're just like, oh, yeah, no. Can we start yeah. Already? You bought a competitor, we're just going to imprison you and get free labor off of you for a while. And I, I believe strongly that there would be enough oversight in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. The but very then, beginning. And, and and honestly, I think that they could they could hide those things for Are a good long time. They could wait until yes. there's multiple so counties that are fully controlled. Or maybe even a an entire state entirely turn. controlled. Yes. But... That it is, is just a matter of time games. before they go, yeah, there's no more oversight. We can do whatever the heck we want. Time yeah. has run out. Fun thing about that, uh, if you can give money to a person Zelda. to help make that start out, then you can continue you to give money to people to slowly to peel oversight away. Yep. No matter what it takes, you must awaken yep. your power. And it will only be until returns. people start voicing complaints in mass that anything might be done at all but which is why you have to probably going to be too late which is why you have to complain in mass as soon as you can indicated yes Ganon would return on Zelda's 17th birthday yeah so I, I saw that and I, I was like oh crap this is where it begins right here the <laughs> spring because as soon as they start up a place, Google's going to be like, hey, uh, we should, we should 
I control like could Portland. Sense the thunderous Can we have footsteps <laughs> of a like... looming scourge. <laughs> Facebook will, will control a city and Amazon will control multiple countries. I just want to know like who's going to control like the city I'm in. Like I just, I just want to find it's like, "Oh cool, we got Netscape for some reason." <laughs> Didn't even know they're still around. <clears throat> Oh man, have you ever been to MySpace, Ohio? Whatever I can. <laughs> MySpace, I Ohio. Oh. I'm assuming that a, a random city in Ohio is the only place MySpace is gonna get. I I, I like the idea of Zynga coming back and getting a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Zynga, Missouri. Like, yeah, Zynga, Missouri. It's gotta be like Zynga, Nebraska. Uh, population 12. God, have you ever been to Naughty Dog, Tennessee? <laughs> Zynga's still around. It's it's hard to. I Do you mean Zynga or Zanga? Zanga, X A N G A. Yeah, because yeah, that's Zanga. Zynga is the small like. Zynga's the game company. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're around either. They are. I just looked them up first because that's how I, I misspelled to that. I mean, I can't blame you. <laughs> like, yeah, it's completely fair. It's been more relevant for longer <laughs> and more recently. No more time. Zanga 2.0 is here. <clears throat> wow, they released a 2.0. Uh, I. At one point, I had a Zanga. I, I take it back. I would love to live in a city that's called like My Neopets. brother did. <laughs> that would be what? Uh, Neopets. Neopets? <laughs> nice. Or Foo Pets? What is Foo Or Webkins? Webkins? <laughs> no, I, I would prefer Neopets because of how, what a like, fucking disaster Neopets is. <laughs> They apparently once released an avatar that you could get, and it took like two years for anybody to figure out how to get it. Oh gosh, that means there'd be a RuneScape city as well. Oh god, I would love to live there. <laughs> no, it would be a... a Jagex yeah. city, and it would be hard. Wait, Steam D, is it Wizards? Yeah. Yeah. That would be a, horrible a city. very interesting city. Yeah. yeah. I can't decide if that would be the best or the worst because they've spent so much time figuring out how like governments might work anyway. Uh, it would be bad because um, wizards have the habit of not sharing any of their stuff, so I don't think you would be allowed to leave. <laughs> and I mean, like you know, mm. the you know what a, a beholder is, like the the big thing with a bunch of eyes. Um, they don't allow that to be in any game that is in the United States. And they will like aggressively sue it. Yeah, it's it's their their Mickey Mouse. It's their Mickey Mouse, but instead of it being Mickey Mouse, it's just like the species of rat that Mickey Mouse is. I mean, there's not really a beholder that Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's like they didn't even have like a character out of it, they have a race. And they're like, this. No one can touch this. What else do they have? Because that's, that's not the only thing. Are, are Tarasks? I don't think so. Uh, Beholder is the one that I know that. I get the whole concept of copyright and everything, but it's like real bold of them to do that uh, in their game that is entirely made out of second match worlds. Well, I mean, Beholder is unique. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. They made one unique thing and they're like, alright, no one can touch us. It's like, yeah, but I mean, you just copied all your stuff from Token. They're like, yeah, but it's like that, so. Remember how that one dude was getting five staple clothes? I didn't think about that every once in a while. Oh, gosh. I 
particularly like that in one of his books, he was like, this character is named Eustace Clarence Scrub, and he almost deserved it. And we're like, big, okay, big words from yeah. Clive Staples over here. I, I think my favorite thing is about, I, I think the passage is like, uh, this character's name, it was like, he was named, he was regrettably named whatever, and you're just like, wow, this is really like, you, like from the guy who has to go by his initials because his yeah. actual name is. And also, like, you named the ass. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I can't find out how many current users Zenga has. The, the last I can see is. Uh, a 2013 article saying that there were 2 million users. Which... Nope, that's... That's... Correct. The 2 million blogs archived. Uh, archived, in case anybody wants to come back to them. <laughs> no, okay, so here's a Mashable article that, uh, from 2006 that it's, that says it had 27 million users. 2006. As of 2015, MySpace had 50 million active users, which is way more than it deserves. Is that a by Uh, 2015. I didn't even know it was still, like, online. Yeah, 50 million active users. In, in the U.S. specifically. Also way more users than it deserves to have and that I imagine would have it. Yeah. That's like more than some space, I feel like. As of 2015, there were 3,500 people playing Neopets. Yeah, but that one makes sense. No one goes to MySpace because of like, uh, what is it, um, nostalgia. Find an, an accurate number on, on Zanga, unfortunately. Big rip. So, I went down a rabbit hole today. Uh, speaking about companies and stuff, I I was reading. There's there's a r slash dm advice or dm academy or something. Give me one second. Okay. Go on. One more test. Um. There there was an article from for from a dm to other dms. They they had this idea that they were sharing. It was, a, it was a neat idea. They they live in a really high, or they play in a really high magic world, mm -hmm. where uh, magic items are very commonplace, the simple magic items, and and every city has at least one or two uh, magic item shops, and 
his idea was as you got closer, like when you were near a city, and you slept, you got dreams from the shops of like Just advertisements. 80s, 80s commercial advertisement, like infomercial style oh. advertisements. Nice. <laughs> and and his, you know, I I liked the idea, but they they mentioned just you know, hey, here, just look up 80s infomercial music on YouTube and use that and you'll be fine. So I went. That sounds fantastic. I want to hear 80s infomercial music. <laughs> So I looked up and I couldn't find legitimate just 80s infomercial music. I probably could have if, if I had kept looking. Instead what I found was 7 minute 26 second compilation of the Time Life Sounds of the 80s collection commercials. So this is like the, the 13 disc or tape because cassette tapes are also very prominently shown uh, collection of songs of the 80s. And this is a 1990 commercial. Um, and it just struck me because I, it, it was, you know, it's, I'm sure you all watched commercials at all when you were a child. So you know the ones where it's like, you know, get these collections and it, it like scrolls the names of the yes. songs down the screen. That's and... my favorite it scrolled so fast and I kept trying to keep up. And like every 12th one is yellow and it, it uh, they actually like sing that like that one starts playing when it yeah. shows up and then the next one. So it's doing that and every single one of the songs is now played at the supermarket. Like every single one of them I went Oh, that's that song. Oh, that's that song. Can we make, like, like a fake commercial like It was that? ridiculous. Can we make a fake commercial like that? Except when it scrolled, all of them are yellow, and it just keeps playing all of them on top of each other. Yeah. And just slowly or... becomes a horrible pop name. Yeah. As long as the name is on the screen, it plays that music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I... I... I just thought it was, it was real bizarre just going through and going, oh, oh, that's apparently the supermarket just plays 80s music. And, update you know, it like, they, like once a year with one new song from the last like 10 years. Yeah, supposedly it's songs from the last 50 years, uh, accepting the, like, the newest, like, Uh, and, and I have heard a couple newer songs in there, but goodness gracious, this, it just, it was constant. Yeah. That and, sucks. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to hear those even when I'm at work. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> I don't think I know that one sometimes. Uh, Although I do a very good job. Is zoning out. strange. Um, so I moved from that to just, I looked up a, a video and it's one hour of 1980s TV commercials. And it's bizarre seeing commercials for things that at this point don't even need commercials for them. Like Heinz ketchup. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like it's, when was the, like it, Heinz ketchup is just ketchup now. Yeah. It, like you buy off brand. You, you, sorry, you buy store brand or you buy Heinz. Yeah, it's it's wild that like like I still don't even understand why Coca Cola has a fucking advertising budget. Like no, everyone knows, everyone knows what Coke is. <laughs> yeah. Like at worst, someone's gonna watch it and be like, oh, I kind of want a Coke now. But like, no one's gonna go to the store for one Coke just because yeah. they saw a commercial. And if they do, I I really like well, the uh... you were gonna get them anyways. <laughs> One, one of the commercials on here was actually for Pepsi. And it was they that one's they big. were sending a man back in time. Uh, they had a time machine. They're like, be careful what you do back there. They don't they don't have TV back there and, or back then. And the guy had like the guy who was talking said, you know, like they don't even have Pepsi because they were holding a Pepsi. 
and then the guy gets in and, and leaves, and the guy looks at his hand and he's, he no longer has the Pepsi. It's like, oh no, he took my Pepsi. Well, surely one Pepsi won't change the course of history. And they start walking past, like, a couple vending machines, and the Coke one just phases out of existence as he walks past. I'm like, uh... First of all, Pepsi isn't that good. Yeah. Pep, like, I'm... I like Coke. I like off-brand better because I'm cheap. But I don't like Pepsi. So, uh, yeah, no, there's, there was a lot of them, there's, oh, one of the Heinz ones was for, um, uh, no, no, I, I only watched, like, like, five, ten minutes of, of these, but, uh, the, the Heinz one was like, oh, don't forget, you can pick up Heinz in our new 64 ounce plastic container. <laughs> This was new? <laughs> I guess there had to be a new... Yeah, at some point they had at to be like, point. I guess let's do it in this size? Yeah. Also, 64 ounces is huge. Yeah. Um... Hello? That's... Hello? That's a lot... of ketchup. It's that's, like, that that's I a half a gallon some of people, ketchup. Like, put it on whatever. What's weird to me that's is that's a half you... a gallon of I, ketchup. I know, but what's weird to me is what is the fucking ones of mayo. And I'm like, no one, like, I don't know. I'm sure people like make stuff with it, but like, I don't think mayo should be like. You should be making so much with mayo that you need that size container. Because all I've ever used it for really is like sandwiches. Like, yeah. Like, how often are people making like? Egg salad Tape or whatever the fuck. Salad, fun. coleslaw. Some people make coleslaw a lot. What daily? <laughs> it's known been known people. To <laughs> uh, well, all I can say is I'm glad that you used the past tense for you knowing those people. <laughs> it sounds like you've made some good choices in your life. <laughs> Here, I'm I'm going to uh, push up my nose and say I don't even uh buy mayonnaise at this point. I just make it. Yes. How do you make mayonnaise? Uh... Real and eggs. Yeah. You, you take an egg, you put it in a uh, bowl or something. You take oil, you put it in the bowl, and you beat the shit out of it, and you have mayonnaise. So why is it not yellow? Uh, because there's more oil in the yellow egg. Oh. Um, egg How much oil do you egg put in? Too. Uh, like a cup and a quarter. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mayonnaise is, I feel like, mostly oil. It is. I mean, I've, I've got a, a better recipe that, that adds, like, vinegar and oh, seasonings okay. and stuff, but, uh... This is the point you should be yeah. pushing up your nose on. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean... And not the part where I was extra pretentious and said I just make my own mayonnaise. Yeah, no, see, it, it's like, it is slightly pretentious, but it's not really pretentious to be like, oh yeah, I make my own, because like, it's like, oh cool, I'm learning how to do this instead of having to buy it. It's more pretentious to be like, oh yeah, I have my own recipe I use. Because <laughs> then it's gone from being like, oh yeah, it's a thing I've learned so that I don't have to buy it, and gone to like, oh yes, I only use my mayonnaise because I'm so good at it. All right, you want the recipe? I'll give it to you right now. One egg, a te tablespoon and a teaspoon of white vinegar, two teaspoons of cider vinegar, three-quarter teaspoon of salt, two pinches of paprika, and a cup and two tablespoons oil. You put them all together. You put a stick blender in the bottom. You wait for everything to settle, and then you beat it to hell until it turns into mayonnaise. Sorry, I can't use that. You told me not to use recipes. <laughs> Yeah, I just make it however I want, so I'm technically better at cooking now. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty sure that's, that's the logic that we're gonna follow. Oh man, I could make it sour and put some sumac in there. Ooh, put some fucking sour patch kit! Oh yeah, I, I actually picked up some uh, fun new ingredients today. Did you pick um, up the, the like sour particles that they put on sour patch kits? Because I've just realized I want to add those to a lot of things. Uh, I didn't need to, I already have this. 
How do you get like what is that? It's it's just citric acid. It's what? Citric acid. I think acids are liquids. They can't be solid. <laughs> I picked up some caraway seeds and I picked up some spearmint. Nice. I found a I found a container of spearmint. And I thought, huh? Let's give that a try. What'll I do with you? I'm gonna give the most unhelpful advice every time you say that you found some ingredient. <laughs> like a horrible version, like a horrible replacement. <laughs> I, I wanna make like. Oh, see, I could I could make unchili now because I've got spearmint. Unchili. <laughs> I, I would like to make a website that you go to for um, like cooking ingredient um, replacements, but I want to make the website for evil. <laughs> nice. Like like oh, things that are wow, close that... enough that like you can understand why someone would think that, but also absolutely not ever work in a recipe. That's a good smell. Yeah, that's that's actual spearmint. Like, wow. So I to see what you do with that because my stint of good segment. Jonathan and Kristen smell things on stream that no one else can smell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you want to smell it? <laughs> Go buy a stick of spearmint be gum. Go buy a pack of spearmint gum and sniff it. There you go. So it is the same. Thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically. I could use it to make gum, but. I'm probably gonna use it. That would be the wildest thing sure what, to yeah. do to the homemade. It's just, oh yeah, I make my own <laughs> spearmint gum. gum. <laughs> I, I, to doctor my gum. What, what I think would be even better is I I what I home make mean? my own spearmint <laughs> gum, and I've I've tweaked the recipe perfectly so that now it's a perfect copycat of this like really cheap gum you can purchase. Like, yeah. We'll just uh, buy here. the gum. <laughs> Yeah, I have this $500 per stick recipe yeah. for spearmint gum. It, it's just a recipe online that's just like, oh, it's super easy. Prep time, 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's basically what the um the Bon Appetit had a, a show that they ran, um, where Claire, who is their uh pastry chef their dessert chef would make gourmet quote-unquote versions of standard snacks like she made a, a gourmet pop tart starburst or like cheap uh snickers like all those and she she usually um try and elevate it a little to make it gourmet by doing like better chocolate and uh, the hand making the caramel and stuff making that better. But with this guy and they all flew through him. The game just unloaded his hitbox. <laughs> A lot of the time it would just devolve into uh we failed or we're just going to uh make do a copycat. Instead of making it better. And it was always Hey, this is how you make copycat Snickers. Uh it's going to cost you way more than a lifetime supply of Snickers. <laughs> like <laughs> See that sounds like a great like I, I I want a show that is specifically about that. <laughs> uh okay, uh Kristen, uh we need to backtrack. You said you doctor your gum? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, what does that Do mean? You add more spearmint <laughs> we, to it? Everyone yeah, we, we're in the middle of some other stuff, but we need to come back oh, now and, and touch on that. Do you, like, wrap your gum around a hot dog in order to eat it? It's just not something I do, it's something I used to do. Oh, that's still good. <laughs> when when I was in high school and um, I enjoyed vending machines too much, you said that I discovered you spearmint gum, up to and but that's then when I was at true. home one time with my I spearmint mean, gum, I decided just now. I want chocolate oh, chip effort. mint. No, no, you did it. <laughs> so I went to the freezer. No, I opened the container of chocolate chips. I pulled out like three, 
I threw them in my mouth with the fresh piece of gum and I chewed them until they were together. <laughs> How have I you- I chewed my mint chocolate chip gum. How have you not brought this up during all of our food crime segments? <laughs> you, this is the biggest food crime of all. The thing is- Like, Dr. I gum- I actually liked it for yeah, quite a while. I like, know. I enjoyed it. I suggested it to my friends. This is like, why it's this a food was crime. A oh, that's I worse. Did. Oh, no. <laughs> John. Oh no! Okay. You let it out of the John. John, I need you to <laughs> to figure out. Oh, like I need you to to play copyrighted music into your microphone because I need the audio from this episode wiped because I don't want other people to hear about this and potentially attempt it for themselves. Yeah, definitely, definitely don't uh, do this and come back and comment on the video saying that you did this. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah. Oh. I can't believe you told other people. <laughs> that, I, I yeah, only had I, like one friend at the time. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think they even tried it. I, I can assure you they didn't. <laughs> it just, I feel like, it, it's just, it's just weird to me that you apparently at that age did not have an internal sense of shame that stopped you from trying to tell other people to do this. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I this liked is... it. Yeah, I know, that's the issue. <laughs> I, I don't still like it. I find gum gross. Why would you put something well, in your mouth just to hold your spit there for forever? <clears throat> yeah, that's... Huh. Interesting. I mean, some people are into that. Oh, hey, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi. Hey, Tim, I have a cool thing for you to try. Do you have spearmint gum and three chocolate chips, Andy? <laughs> I do not, probably, thankfully. Why? <laughs> I have no, spearmint no gum at the office, and I have chocolate chips here at home, but I don't keep them in the same location. That's that's safe, I think. That's one of the better decisions you made, especially when they that location is They don't like the idea of mint chocolate chip gum. No, I like the well, actually no, because I don't like the idea of chocolate gum. No, yeah. I've. I've tried chocolate gum before, and it artificial chocolate, the kind that has flavor that sticks around for a while, is just awful. I agree. Yeah, that that's like why most plan. chocolate ice creams are bad. Because most chocolate ice creams aren't made with That's why instead of using with. that type of chocolate, you should take your good chocolate chip. No, because they're good chocolate chips. And shoot them in your mouth with your spearmint gum, and let the flavors blend that way. <sighs> Yeah. I, I can't believe uh, that you never brought this up in the food crime mm, section. Why <laughs> would I even think about this? You clearly it's just did for some years. reason. years. I thought about it now because we were talking about spearmint. We don't normally talk about spearmint. It was spearmint gum. Well, okay, well, what other things do we need to talk about to un unlock your hidden backstory of horrible food crimes? I don't know. <laughs> We've already unlocked Tim's. Oh, I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, Tim Tim is a horrible history of food crimes. Yeah. I mean, every mm -hmm. time he opens his mouth, one one pops out. He's vomiting? Like, what were you what were you talking about over the intro in uh, the game show last night? Ooh. Talking over <laughs> the intro. That's not a food crime, that's a stream Ooh. crime. No, but the worst part is he was doing his stream crime using a food crime. Ooh, double Jeopardy. <laughs> no, it so was, cancel uh, out. No, no, it wasn't Jeopardy. It was uh, Google Trends Map. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, Dom. Yeah. Uh, you get five points for the next game. Oh, nice. Just still gonna lose. <laughs> it's cool because uh, it means I only have to be part of the show every other month. <laughs> Even though it's fun, it's just, you know, cool. That way I only have to feel shame once every two months. Uh, as if you sh feel shame in between. What? <laughs> hey, I'm not the one uh, who eats chocolate gum. And Neither tells my right. friends about it. Alright, what, what was the thing y'all were saying? Oh god, I don't remember what Tim said. I think it was just a rerun of beef soda. 
Uh, no, there was definitely like pasta with nerd ropes or something. Oh, oh, that was, oh, that's that was a different thing I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We were never. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We were trying to replace pasta with nerd rope. You were asking if there's something that we could conceivably make that was wrapped in nerd rope, and my my final my final thought was donut. So soon. Let's always make good pasta replacement. I don't want to know how or why you would think or know this. No, no, not like, not like in a pasta dish. Like if you're trying to make a candy version of a pasta dish, you use Twizzlers as the spaghetti visually. Uh, I'm assuming you mean pull and peel Twizzlers that have been yes. pull and peeled. Yes. Because but regular you would only top them with other candy. That. You you wouldn't top them with like tomato sauce. I think I That'd hate be disgusting. the idea of angel hair. Of course not. You top them with strawberry jelly. <laughs> angel hair twizzler <laughs> probably be good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually pretty bad. Because at least pull and peel is is spaghetti or larger. No, no, no. I was talking to Tim about strawberry Jesus. jelly on top of the pull and peel. Yeah, no, no. We, we were talking. Yeah. Dom and I were talking about angel hair uh, Twizzlers. <laughs> yeah, and we were ignoring you as we continued to hash out our idea of yeah. candy spaghetti. We were talking, and then you corrected me when we weren't fucking talking to you. <laughs> uh, I think I corrected you. Okay, John. So let's let's let's. Okay, let us connect this whole idea to an earlier topic. Candy lasagna. Go. Okay. How do you, finished already. How do you ooh, ooh. Um, so the, uh, the lasagna sheets are, um, not fruit by the foot. What's the other one that's basically the same thing? Fruit Airheads. roll up. Fruit roll up. Oh. Fruit roll up. Yeah. Although, airheads, like, if you were doing proper work, like, flattening out a, uh, like, with a roller, an airhead would get about the right size and shape uh, for a, a strip of lasagna. But no, I think I think fruit roll-up is really the way to go here. Okay, so a fruit roll-up um, what else? Or if we want it to be terrible, fruit leather. <laughs> I thought the idea was to make this Wait, good. Yeah, no, I thought the idea was to make this out of candy. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, Sam, Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the rest. Um, I think now and later's are the, uh, or sprinkles, either one, if you count sprinkles as candy, uh, would be the parmesan you, like, dust on top. Sprinkles are like a candy condiment. Or, I mean, you could do citric acid on top. Ooh. I can't wait but that's me. I can't wait that's, for that's fucking a... two months from now when John actually makes a candy lasagna. <laughs> no. No. Uh, okay, I would like to to pause it. What if we Okay, were, but what if we used a different base and we just use spearmint gum? Sheets <laughs> <laughs> no. of spearmint gum? So yeah, one and bite chocolate. Yeah, so one <laughs> bite of candy lasagna lasts you for like four years. <laughs> yeah, and spearmint gum and chocolate. Yeah, it's it's spearmint gum with chocolate in in the middle <laughs> instead of meat. Uh, it's chocolate sauce. You just you just use chocolate syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking of using chocolate syrup earlier when we were tr just trying to figure out um something for uh like like something to go with nerds rope to or the Twizzlers to make spaghetti is just Twizzlers and chocolate sauce. Yeah. Which is a yeah. horrible, horrible mouthfeel already. Yeah. Without actually having it anywhere near you to eat. Yeah, I, I have Still no reason for knowing that, but, like, when I say it, my, my mouth immediately feels a bad texture. <laughs> Alright, so, so I have a question for you. White chocolate chips for the ricotta. We're we're gonna we're gonna move on from here. Uh, I don't think we should have um, these conversations. I think we need to make a recipe. This is actually how I learn how to cook is just listening to you figure out what you replace for stuff, and that way I can figure out what the original stuff is. Who needs <laughs> eggs when you have blood? 
<laughs> yeah, that's also how I've learned to cook. <laughs> also, who said we're putting ricotta in this lasagna? What if what if we're not making a northern Italian lasagna? Anyways, uh, I have I have a question for y'all. What is not counting books or movies or, or like media of that nature? What is the best sequel? What the fuck are you talking about? So like, the SNES is pretty high up there because like the NES was huge great system. But the SNES just took everything the NES did and went all the way with it. There's still so many games and people still love to, to play the SNES. Uh, what do you think is a sequel that beats the SNES? Uh, the Super Nintendo, or the uh, Nintendo 64 control. <laughs> 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 now, I... The, that brings up a question of when talking about sequels, is everything that follows something a sequel? Hey, John, what do you or... call the most recent set of Star Wars movies? Uh, shit. No, you call them, <laughs> people call them the sequels. <clears throat> the sequel trilogy, yeah, because it comes after the original trilogy. Yeah, so are you saying that only one of them is a sequel, but also all of them together is a sequel? I would say... <laughs> I would say Empire Strikes Back is a sequel to Star Wars, but I would say that the sequel trilogy is the sequel to the original. But is it really a sequel when they were, when it was meant to be there from the start and they all tell the same story? I don't think the sequel trilogy was meant to exist ever. No, no, I'm, I'm saying uh, Empire. Uh, I don't think Empire was meant to exist. They, Star Wars wasn't Star Wars Episode Four. it was just Star Wars. Wait, that was and just then the they went back... Without a... Ending? Yeah, no. That's that legitimately like they they made Star Wars. Oh. They didn't think they would get would be able to make more. It. it was released as Star Wars, and then a, later they went, wait, we made too much money off of this. Let's make more, and they made it Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Because apparently then, George Lucas just... learned how to count from Beethoven. Yeah, it was just Star Wars. I'm glad I don't know that. Yep, me neither. Uh, so, what what do you think would be uh, a better sequel than the SNES? Because I, I think that, like, oh, well, the on. SNES is a good sequel to the NES, the PlayStation 2 is a good sequel to the PlayStation, but I feel like the PlayStation 3 is just, that's the third iteration. We're, we're no, outside no, of no, sequels John, now. John, it's the sequel to the PS2. <laughs> I don't, I personally don't think you can be a sequel to a sequel. Well, you have, you have That's the third child in his family. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so that you're, right. you're not even in consideration. You know what? I think I'm the best Correct. sequel for my own system. <laughs> 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 so I don't think this is better than the SNES, but I think it's in the same category. The DualShock controller. Oh, and and let's let's not get bogged down with um whether or not this is uh specifically uh, video games and stuff. The original question I heard this from was comparing um, Peanut M&Ms and the SNES. So... so... So you're saying, like, name something yes, that is a Peanut good Peanut M&Ms are, in fact, the best sequel to the SNES. <laughs> I, I'm saying the best sequel of uh, anything I, that I, isn't a movie or a... I, I have a question. Book. Is Lutheranism a sequel to Catholicism? <laughs> Ooh, no, Lutheranism is definitely a sequel to Catholicism. Well, is it though? Because it's it's not a new story. It's it's cutting down the old story, so it's more like an abridged version. Oh, you're right. Is Mormonism a sequel to Christianity? Wait, it is. That is actually what it is. <laughs> Christianity is a sequel to Judaism, though. So at that point, we're into the sequel of a sequel thing. Well, again, uh. According to Christianity, uh, Christianity is still just the continuation of Judaism, but and and like the completion of it. So I I think you could make the same argument with Catholicism and Lutheranism. I love whatever we can talk about religion in the weirdest possible ways. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Yes. Yeah. O opening it up to more things. What? Um, what? What could you tell me that beats the SNES? Sliced bread being the sequel to actual bread. How about a bicycle being the sequel to one wheel? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> What, did they go? I, I feel like they didn't go straight to bicycle though. I think they no, went they to cart, and then they went back to bicycle. Okay, fine. Here's an or a tricycle. Then, are cars the sequel to horses? <laughs> yes. No, of course not. Yes, cars they... are the sequel to carriages. That's the point. Oh uh, okay. yeah, that's that's true. But I think that they're definitely uh, a far okay. superior. Okay. Engines okay. are the, yeah, yeah, yes. the internal combustion engine is the sequel to the horse, and that I will agree with. Yeah, I, I was actually about to pretty, say it, so thank you. Pretty stellar, yeah. Yeah, a pretty good. <laughs> I just love phrasing uh, stupid things like, "Oh yeah, blank is the sequel of blank," and everyone else is like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's accurate. I don't know if it's accurate, but it's funny. I mean, it's it's hard to tell there because then then my rule of like sequel sequels is is I think on books are a ground. pretty good sequel to scrolls. <laughs> uh, remember, we weren't we weren't talking about books. Fair, <laughs> but books as a concept, no. I think, is allowed. It was it was it was stories. Yeah, is is the real rule against. I, I like um, how you said stories like, are not allowed, but we will talk about the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that was different. Well, yeah, that's religion. It's different. So, um, what's the sequel to, uh... I think pigs are pretty Scientology. Greek pig. Uh, well, hopefully it, it, it bombs out. Yeah, Scientology doesn't have a bad. sequel because no one's wanted to screw up that badly twice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he made well, a lot of money. I don't know, Tim. The, the sequel trilogy exists. Someone ma messed up three times. Uh, no, that was just one single screw up where they kept doubling down on it. Uh, Is doubling down a sequel? <laughs> nah, it's a continuation. No. Uh... Is there, like, an equal to food? Okay. Can we think of a food that yes. has a sequel? Yes, there is! Walt Disney is the best sequel to the Brothers Grimm. I, I disagree. Ooh! No, yeah. I, I disagree as well. Yeah, I, think I mean, he's less sequel. rapey, that's for sure. But yeah. he's still rapey. That's the problem. Uh, like, I, mean, I, I don't... Like, Sleeping yeah. Beauty's horrible. Oh, yeah. Sleeping Beauty but that's also still still just the Grimm's being rapey. But... Isn't... Weren't, didn't the Grimm's take it from a pretty rapey story, though? I don't remember if the Grimm's are, are the first version, or... Oh, okay, I thought you said it was based off of, like, three stories, and one of them was actually halfway okay, but the other two were just like... <laughs> yeah, like, one of... Uh, slight tangent from the sequel uh, discussion. Uh... <laughs> The, one of the original stories of which uh, Sleeping Beauty is based, uh, she pricks her finger, goes into a deep sleep. Uh, the prince finds her, uh, sees that she's the loveliest thing as can be, knocks her up multiple times, and on one of her childbirths, she wakes up. Wow, but that didn't happen. Uh... Yeah, one of her, ch one of her multiple childbirths, while he's ruling the kingdom, uh, screwing this uh, patient that yeah. has that yeah. gives birth. Um, I would like to. I mean, it. coma patients can give birth. Unfortunately, we know that. Hmm. I would like to posit that humans are the best uh, sequel to monkeys. <laughs> I was kind of thinking dogs and wolves, but I don't know what else wolves have turned into besides modern wolves, so. I, I don't think there is even a sequel, technically. It, it's, dogs are really more like the fanfic of wolves. Yeah. <laughs> Humans wrote fanfics about wolves, and that's where adult dogs became. Yeah, it, it's it's we took the canon wolves and we like took like bred the pieces of it that we like, and now we have dogs. 
so you have to ask the question, question though did humans write fanfic about wolves or did wolves write fanfic about themselves because they had to have some cooperation here uh let's not let's not get for easy to this Tim, let's, let's move on no. from this do you know about selective breeding i do know about selective breeding i have a hard time believing that they would have been able to do it with you know the apex predator um in the area without their cooperation i don't think wolves are the apex predator in most areas they and, definitely and are in north america the what about bears i, I don't know bears wild cats and yes, moose. also let's remember that in all of these situations the apex predator in all of society is man yeah, but man arguably isn't that is native to most true. of the planet. Yeah, I, I would say man is not the apex predator of the Mariana Strength. <laughs> yeah, give us time. Yeah, that's yeah, the Meg. Until Anyways, then, we uh, are not. We'll call it ultra deep sea fishing. Oh gosh. I want to see a Meg. Don't mess up the Meg. Move the Meg. Uh, Megalodon. Big fish. Yeah. Big shark. Big shark. <laughs> yeah. Big chungus. It's 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 a prehistoric shark that's like a hundred times the size of a normal luxury bike. And there's some proof that there is still something big sharkish living in the Mariana. Okay, can we talk about worst sequels? I think chickens are the worst sequels to dinosaurs. You're, you're right. You're, you're right, they are. <laughs> chickens are the worst sequels to most things. No, no, no I'm sorry. Incorrect. <laughs> the the mo the worst possible sequel to dinosaurs is the Dodos. <laughs> hey, at least... Uh, uh, those at were least at least tastier followed... than, than Oh, I thought you were going to say at least they followed in the dinosaur's footsteps. No, they're 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 tastier than chickens, so I don't know about that. Oh uh, no, I just think because they also want. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, we we were talking about something, then we we were gonna go back. I don't know what. I think we're talking about was. Oh well. That cook's a pretty good sequel to Coke. Do you mean Coca Cola is a good sequel to cocaine? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. I don't think that. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd say that if we're going with sequels of Coke, unfortunately, the sequel to Coke is New Coke, and well, what about that was so bad it Coke almost Zero. destroyed the company. <laughs> Coke Zero. Is the... <laughs> I mean, is isn't it? <laughs> No, Coke, Zero is the, Coke Zero is yep. the sequel to Diet Coke. So is Diet Coke the prequel to Coke then? Uh, it, it's the prequel and then uh, Coke Zero is the like prequel sequel. Diet Coke is a spin-off. Yeah, Diet Coke is a spin-off works. So if we say that uh current modern day coke is the, the true coke this is the prequel to that uh mexican coke where it actually has the sugar back in it uh well the prequel has to be the one with cocaine <laughs> like original recipe like uh, a prequel is something that stuff. was made after but chronologically before within its own timeline <laughs> the weirdest thing you've ever had <laughs> So, I think it's good. I never said it was bad. I don't think it's the weirdest we've had, though. It is absolutely not the weirdest we've had. Oh, well, what's the weirdest we've had? There was that one time we looked at me for, like, the entire stream. We don't yeah, talk about there those was days. That. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is yeah. the best sequel to the episode we looked at B porn. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll drink to. <laughs> Mostly because I don't want to remember it being said. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh... 
I, just I think tacos this... are the best sequel to corn. I don't think there's a sequel to corn. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure tacos I mean... were around while that band was created. Corn is the best sequel to wheat. Again, I I think wheat's <laughs> still around when that band was created. <laughs> I mean, M&Ms are still around. Impressive. But peanut M&Ms are, are, are the sequel to that. Yeah, something doesn't have to be over to have a sequel. Yeah. Uh, I disagree. Corn is not the best sequel to to where. Corn does not surpass wheat as a sequel. Yeah, I'll agree. Wheat's better. Yeah, you can smoke it. And... You said um, weed, right? How how about bananas are the worst sequel to the shit like old bananas? <laughs> Banana bread Ye is a better sequel than bananas. I don't know if banana <laughs> yeah. bread's a sequel to bananas because they don't fill the same <laughs> slot. Yeah, the, the reason we yeah. have the current crappy bananas we have now is because they're the only strain that hasn't been killed by a, a plague yet. It's uh, well, give it time. We got a couple of them yeah, now. It's, it's, it's actually actively working on it. The yeah, but it's not dead yet. Suffering. I mean, is it a thing that, like, we can't, like, we have to cultivate corn, and if we don't, it'll, like, die off? Because we fucked it up so much? Probably? I don't it know about corn, that's like definitely a, a thing with sheep. That we fucked it up too much? Uh, Tim, that's sheep. a Scottish only thing. <laughs> or Welsh. <laughs> that, yeah, let, let the Welsh yeah, be a part of this. I was gonna say, that's yeah. not a Scottish only thing. Yeah, Tim, I, I yeah, should... promise you, I was not part of this fucking up the sheep <laughs> issue. But sheep have to be sheared, or else they overheat and die. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I overheat and die from a lot of different things. They ain't special. <laughs> Would you overheat and die from not getting a haircut? Probably. Eventually. I mean, I mean I've heard of people who seem to think that was essential. Maybe if they, uh, if we hadn't fucked up the environment so much, we were still in uh, an ice age, then they wouldn't. Okay, is COVID... No, give it time. We could actually be going back to an Ice Age. Okay, question. That would be nice. I would I would take that, please. Is... Question. No, see, the problem is the Ice Age is happening because so much um, so much of the glaciers is melting. Uh, okay, I... question. Okay with this. Question. Give me ice. Everyone shut up. <laughs> question. Is COVID-19 the best or worst sequel to the Spanish flu? It is not a sequel because they're different. It is... Yes, well, but they no. fill the same spot. It is related I, to I, SARS. I'd say I'm not going to go I'd there. I'd say it's the best sequel than than SARS because it, it is a uh, it does its job better than SARS did. There we go. It is the most successful sequel to SARS. Yeah. I'll definitely agree with that. So it did really well in the box office. It's also got such a better name. Coronavirus versus SARS. Those SARS people need to talk to their branding officers. Sorry. This is the quality of my jokes. <laughs> Alright, so what what do you think is a better sequel than the SNES? I mean, literally anything else in the SNES is just, like, slightly better or whatever. I mean, like, fighting words. I mean, it's good, but like, I wouldn't say it's like, oh, it's the best sequel to ever be made. Like, whatever, they put some more fun on it. I just love this concept of being able to at, say blank is the sequel of blank because I know it'll infuriate a lot of people when I say it. <laughs> All right, what, what do we think about Texas Toast being a sequel to regular sliced bread? That's I fair. I, no, I don't think that makes that's a sequel because it's not like okay, it's very like, toast would be the sequel to that. No, no, see, no, no, Texas Toast isn't toasted. It, it's it's just Thick a variety of thicker sliced bread. Yeah. Yeah, but toast came out before Texas Toast, so it would be the sequel. See, 
I, I, yeah, but toast I is the sequel like to you're, regular you're, sliced bread. All, Texas toast has to be made with a specific variety of thick sliced bread. Yeah, but if you took that bread and you put it in a toaster, you'd still make toast. Actually, it wouldn't fit in the toaster most. most yeah, I mean, but anyways, yeah, but you can uh, make toast different ways. <laughs> yeah. You can make uh, toast many different ways. Most of them are wrong. I think my favorite thing is, my favorite quote from General Instinct is, you can make a toast many different ways. <laughs> I prefer grilled bread. Grilled bread's way better than toast. Yeah, but then you'd have or to call it bread. grill, and that's not a word for a food. Fried bread is actually the best. Garlic toast is Oh, fried bread is great. I love making fried bread. Yeah, I, I make fried bread. Every time I do uh, avocado. Fried bread. <laughs> Avocado don't, fried? Don't call it that. Yeah, it's 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 avocado toast. It's just no. If you cook toast in a way without toasting, it's not like it. it it's only toast if it's made in the toast region of France. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yep. oh, excellent. <laughs> yep, no, that's accurate. Flip <laughs> that. So it's just sparkling bread. I mean, the toast region of bread. Oh. Yep. Wild. I think wars are a pretty um, interesting sequel to peace. I don't think so. Also, war came first in the book. Yeah, we're in peace. Yes, the book. We're not talking about books. Oh wait, we're not supposed to talk about books yet. <laughs> oh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shining Force is the best to sequel to Fire Emblem. No. It's not true. ROM hacks are the best uh, yeah. sequel to Fire Emblem. <laughs> Gosh. But again, that's stories. Like we we can't get into that. Hmm. Uh, laptops as a good or bad sequel of computers. In in their own time, I'd say they're a great sequel. All right, what about tablets? But now, uh, as a sequel to computers or laptops? Either. Uh, Are they a as spin -off? a sequel to computers? I I think they're bad. As a sequel to laptops, hmm. I still don't see the. Point. It depends on the application. Well, um, I'd, I'd can say have multiple they, they... applications. Tim. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, you can download multiple applications to them. I, I hate how uh, how many times in this stream alone people have been able to give smartass <laughs> answers. I think it's what makes this particular stream good. Yeah, it's, it's really enjoyable. I... Uh, okay, so uh, what about my laptop that can turn into a tablet? <laughs> oh no, that's is, is that's that just a box set? Pretty cool. of, is that a box set of two movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a box set of one movie that's like so long it has to be on two VHSs. I think it's more of a magical girl than anything. God, I wish I had a 30 second long transformation sequence every time I tried to undock it. <laughs> I wish I had a 30 second long scrub button that could just go back 30 seconds and scrub everything that was said out of the universe in my Aww. brain. <laughs> I've used that so many times tonight. <laughs> I, I think I think trees are the best sequels to ferns. Do trees come after ferns? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. First, there were leaves close to the ground, and then some uh, some of them figured out how to get higher. Now, what do you what do you think about bamboo as a sequel to grass? Oh, great! Because bamboo is a type of grass. Oh well. So I don't know if that works. In I mean, uh, sorry, like, of uh, lawn grass. I don't know what the term for. I can't but is it the best thing since sliced grass? 
and mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Mowing the Lawn ranks very low on my tier list of sequels. Yes, yeah, so it's the best thing since sliced grass. I mean, a lot of things are the best things since sliced grass. Yes, but Most how many of them are also things. grass? Most grass things are the best sequels. Grass. You know what? Having a yard overgrown with, le with weeds is a better thing than sliced grass. Yes. <laughs> I agree. It's called biodiversity, look it up. Uh-huh, yeah. That's what we practice in our lawn. Yeah. I yep. mean, I don't know if it counts as practice if it's just I don't mow the lawn. <laughs> well, it's not just I don't mow the lawn. It's also, it's better for the environment and the grass if the leaves decompose where they naturally fall. Yeah, it's I don't mow the lawn and I don't rake the leaves. <laughs> I don't have an HOA where I live. <laughs> I think conspiracy theories are a great sequel to magic. Completely re like rewrites the entire story. To, to, to logic or to religion? Well, no, I mean religion. That, it's just that's a synonym. Okay. Do you think religion and logic are synonyms? No, uh, religion and conspiracy theories. Oh, okay. Now, what's the sequel of the other? Cults or religion? I guess religion is the sequel to cults? Uh, I would say cults are the sequel to religion. I don't know, because they're the same. I don't know, because like, religions, like, cults start out, and then once they get big enough, they're religion. So. I would argue that they are still a cult. <laughs> Uh, I think garlic is the best sequel to I don't think that's an accurate statement. You how, can be wrong. How are they a sequel? They're from the same family. We'll Tomatoes are the best sequel to Deadly Nightshade. Yes. Okay, I'll agree with that. Well, I don't know. Because there are... Now, now we get into the thing with like the, the branching trees. Uh, like, I already did the branching trees. So there's the there's there's deadly nightshade, but there's also well, branches into tomatoes, but it also branches into um, I think like peppers and um, eggplants, and I think I think like jalapenos are a better sequel than tomatoes. See, here's the thing. When I say something is a good sequel, it, I think it, it needs to sort of take up a, a similar, like, place. But, like, you don't use garlic and onions for the same thing. In fact, you, you oftentimes use both. Beer is the best sequel to wheat. I'll oh, this one that. I mean, have you heard of this fucking like, is Tim? Sourdough bread. Those are cool. You can make whole wheat with these. Yeah. Because they're better than corn. Wrong. Disagree. I need some popcorn. Corn tortillas suck because if you try to fucking like do anything with them, they just rip themselves apart. That is store bought. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 <laughs> shitty American made tortillas. Well, guess yeah. what? So not all of us have time to fucking make every single ingredient that we're ever gonna make. Hey, 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 hey. I understand. I do get that. But if I didn't make mine, I'd go to the tortilleria down the street and buy my hash friend fresh handmade tortillas there. Well, guess what? I don't have five seconds down the street. <laughs> it's not five seconds. It's a couple minutes. By driving. Yeah, it's about like 30 minutes by driving if I have to get to it. <laughs> See? That's, that's why you gotta live in a place with a diverse community. Because then you get bomb food. If there's one thing I miss about where you guys are, it is the diversity of food. Here we've got German and Mexican, and that's about it. 
Oh, yep, out back. I don't know if we have any here. That's Australian food. <laughs> no. I feel like it might be about as close as your German or Mexican food. Maybe. Uh, maybe Outback Steakhouse is the best sequel to Australia. <laughs> No, I think I think Outback Steakhouse is the best sequel to Longhorn. Wait, was Longhorn first? Probably. <sighs> Shit, why do I do so much research on That's shitty fast food or sh shitty restaurants here? Ugh. All right, Longhorn Steakhouse. How come it doesn't pop up first? Nineteen eighty one, founded in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, Outback was in 88, so yeah. Okay. And Tampa, Florida. I think like Taco Bell is the best sequel to Interesting. Edible Food. It's Edible Food. I don't know. I don't know. I think I got a better one. Taco Bell is the best sequel to X Lax. <laughs> it's the best X sequel to a laxative. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that was one of the, the really funky things I saw in the, in the commercials. There was a Benadryl commercial, and I've never seen a Benadryl commercial in my life. Not true anymore. I don't know if that's true, because I, I feel like you are a walking Benadryl commercial. <laughs> yeah, but have I have I truly seen myself? Oh, that's deep. I think John's no. the best sequel to Plato. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like... Um, Silly Putty might be a good uh, Silly Putty might be the good <laughs> sequel to Play-Doh. I think we all know Diogenes was the best sequel to Plato. It's certainly oh, not. Oh no, he's, he's like, he belongs in his own separate category because he's the best. I think chickens are the best sequel to Sith Min. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who was it that said, um, men are, like, men are featherless bipeds? Socrates. Uh, Socrates is the best, or I'm sorry, uh, Dracula is the best sequel the to best Socrates. The best sequel to Socrates, yes. In, in defining what men are. Excellent. <sighs> wow, we've got time to fill still. Dang. Oh, we can talk about more sequels. <laughs> uh, I think Mega Blocks are the worst sequel to Legos. Is Minecraft the best sequel to Legos? Uh, yes? Yeah? It seems like just Legos would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Bionicle I mean, I feel is the like... best sequel to Legos. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> uh, Fortnite really is wish... the best sequel to Pong. <laughs> no, we're not talking about games. I uh, no. <laughs> we're not talking yeah. about games that have story. Neither of them do. <laughs> no, there's a story in Fortnite. There's definitely a story in Fortnite. Uh, and I'm not even just talking it. about the original Fortnite game, which definitely had a story. Yes, it did. I'm talking about the the Fortnite Battle Royale, which also has a continuing story that builds and grows. Yeah, Thanos showed up. Randomly has Thanos and Darth Vader show up. <laughs> did Darth Vader show up? 
Yeah. That, that's wild. You could, you, you could get lightsabers and there were stormtroopers and I don't, I don't remember <laughs> all what happened then because I've only played the game like twice. Oh, that's twice more than I have. Then I stopped. Yeah. Oh, I, I needed to be a true streamer. Oh, okay. That's why uh, I, I've, I've streamed Minecraft and I streamed Fortnite. Ah, but were you racist when you did it? No, that's uh, right. I have yet to drop the N word ever. Ah, uh, sorry, not a true. Gamer. No, <laughs> not a not a not a true gamer, TM. I mean, uh, unless you've had at least two heated gamer moments. Yeah. I mean, I don't even hate uh, the minorities. It's like, well, this this channel will never take off. Oh no. The only minority right. I hate you, is people who like pineapple. Do you think the gaming community is the best sequel to racists? No, because there's a good sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I could say something, but it's probably more politics than we want to get into on I the was stream. Thinking of a, a, a political comeback as well. Uh, a a three-letter, uh... Yep. ...party. <laughs> mm-hmm. Speaking uh, of someone who used to be one... Yeah, same. Oh, man. I would say same, but I don't think I was ever old enough to actually know what the fuck I was talking about at that point. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, my parents say these things, so obviously it's gross. At some point, I'm like, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Let me do any amount of thinking about what's going on. In yeah, the hold on a second. Like, supposedly, I support. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everyone's gotta do it in life. If it takes you a while, that's okay. As long as you figure that out. Yeah. So, like, seriously, make sure you second guess things in time. <laughs> So here's a political statement of fact. This is not a value judgment in any way. The current uh, GOP platform, you know, written in the Republican National Convention uh, minutes in black and white is they do whatever Trump wants. That's it. That is as much as they stand for these days. I, I, I will I will I will go out there a little bit further. If you are a conservative, that is OK. It is okay to be conservative. That is a valid uh, form of thinking about politics. There are good points to be had in conservatism. And I believe strongly that conservatism has a place in US politics and world politics. I personally identify as conservative, just, you know, not the other thing. I actually don't as much. I am a little bit more on the other side, but there is nothing wrong with being conservative. However, the GOP is not the place for you. Yes. Make a new party. Do it for yourself. Do it for conservatism. Just, just a a lot of them. To everyone, that um, the the like Democratic and Liberal Party is in our place considered very far to the left, and everyone else pretty much in the middle. Yeah. For every yeah. other uh, place on Earth. My, my, Overton windows are fun. There, yeah, there's there's the uh, political compass, um, which is the, the north and the south is authoritarian versus um, liber uh, libertarian. Libertarian. And the left to right is uh, liberal versus conservative when it comes to political policy. And I, I want to point out that, for the most part, the GOP is strongly off-right. Yep. Just about everyone in the GOP is strongly off-right. And also, I want to point out that almost everyone in the Democratic Party is also off-right, just more central. Yes. Yep. Almost every single person in the party and yet, fits into for that. For some reason, role. every time like Democrats come into any amount of power, everyone else is just like... Well, that's it. It's just communist now. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, like, I, I guess. I don't think you understand. We, we... <laughs> I bleed red now. 
Yeah, and you're just like, I mean, I think everyone's gonna be exactly the same as they were 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Except now, a normal person is running the gun. <laughs> so there's been some talk from a lot of the behind the scenes conservative uh, Republicans about talk about making a um, a new centrist uh, conservative party independent of the Republicans and you know just leaving the GOP to Trump uh, I'd like to say that Republicans are the worst uh, sequel to Democrats because they changed their name that one time <laughs> that's true yes that is true <laughs> yes Remember, Republicans stood behind uh, Abraham Lincoln against slavery, and we call them Democrats today. <laughs> yeah. It, the party didn't change names. The politics switched sides. Yeah. Also, if the last good thing your party did was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no, I think the the last good thing they did was civil rights, which was 60 years ago. Uh, It's pretty bad. They did one good thing and those people are still alive and they haven't really tried anything new. Uh, there's still people- those- you say those people are still alive, those people are still in power. Yes. Well, you know that millennials ruin everything, so if we put millennials in the government, they'll ruin that too. Yeah, you know what happened when the uh, current people in power first got into power? Everyone probably said that they were ruining shit. It's funny how ruining things uh, is often code for changing things in a way we don't want them to. <sighs> like how we ruined Manic. John's the one ruining think, mayonnaise, he makes his own! Do you think Aeoli is the best sequel to mayonnaise? I mean, it's yes. just no, because it's the contemporaries. Hey, do you guys know about the, uh, the Three Great Soups or whatever it's called? Uh... There's apparently, like, in Japan, there is a, a, a group of soups that's called, like, the Three Great Soups. Um, that's like known as like the best ones. There are four of them for some reason. Don't know why, but apparently no one can decide which one to get rid of, so it's just they're all there. And I think um, Borscht is one of them. Three grand suits. Three grand suits, thank you, Dan. There's, yeah, Borscht, Gulabas, Shark Fin Soup, and Tom Yum Kung. No, I know None of which actually of. came from Japan. Yeah, no, absolutely none of those. I don't know, Borscht sounds Japanese. It doesn't. <laughs> it's Ukrainian. And it's a cabbage and meat soup. Yeah, horrifying to me. Yeah. My wife loves Bula it, guys. Which is, is one of the if I remember food. correctly, is, is it Bula Bay is a cold soup? I, I don't know if Vicious so. is. I don't remember if Borscht is hot or cold. <laughs> Uh, it looks like Google Base is probably a, a hot soup. Yeah. I think it's a hot soup. Yep, just confirmed it. <laughs> There's way too much gelatin in it for it to be served cold. Yeah, it's been. I don't think I've ever had it actually. Oh, borscht can be served hot or cold. Oh wow, a, a soup cold that can't borscht. even make up its mind. Uh, shark fin soup, which uh, I personally just. When they should get rid of. Yeah, definitely. You said there were four, but they couldn't decide what to get rid of. Get rid of shark fin soup. Well, well the problem yeah. is Japan is one of the world's leading exporters of shark fins. Yeah, well, yeah, they that is that. a problem. Yeah, I, I agree. I we, agree. We all agree here. Yes, it's agreed that it's a problem, but it's also a reason Japan's probably not taking that off the list anytime soon. What was what was the? Uh, and also, you can still say the post you were talking about earlier, uh, yesterday, Kristen, <laughs> about the. We all agree that this is a problem. Oh, um, that's sort of political too. No, it doesn't matter. I feel like that's not political enough to matter. Uh, let's all uh, take a moment of silence to uh, remember that what's his name is dead. Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, oh, Rush, Rush Limbaugh's dead. Woo! Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. take a. 
Don't forget. No, Ted Cruz is on vacation. Yeah, that, that's yeah, a that's different what problem. I was thinking. Don't forget, Russian right yeah. Claw's grave is a gender neutral battle. Yes. <laughs> Just the way he would have wanted it. But yes, uh, he, he made a statement that I feel like we all agree with. The left is okay with anything as long as it's consensual. Yeah, that, that, like, I saw that, I yeah. was just like, that is the yes. wildest thing to try to, like, pass off as bad. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Oh, the Do left love consensual cut? sex, and you're like, uh... The left would rather <laughs> five consenting adults all do sex with each other than one man do what he wants with his woman. And you're just like, you're like yes! Yes? And it specifically I... said, like, uh, if, like, there's no consent, they'll call the rape police. And you're like, yes! That's the yes! definition! Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Also, like, I really like the part where it's like, yes, on, on the, the, the first bit of, like, of course, we do prefer consent. And on the other, are you saying that unconsent is a good thing? Y yeah, it's it's a wild <laughs> implication that he's tried to make there. Yeah. He tried to make like, it in a way hey. that no one will notice, even though everyone is very specifically notices. <laughs> yeah. So like, you you said this thing, and it's like, yes, correct, very good. Shark fin soup is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, when Rush Limbaugh died, I was sad because he hadn't died 40 years earlier. Uh, didn't but. he just get the, um... Presidential, um, Medal of Honor? Yeah. yeah. What a... Why? What a waste. Yeah. Medal of Freedom, that's what it was. I, I remember Another thing that I saw, um... I I sorry, it. earlier this week that made me think, what? Why is this actually a problem? The Chamber of Commerce... It, it's gotten so bad in this country, the Chamber of Commerce has started backing the Democrats over the Republicans on balance. And the Republicans yeah. are furious about this and actually released a statement about it saying, which is more important to the Chamber of Commerce? Corporate interest in small business or social justice? Um. <laughs> and the Chamber of Commerce is like, Balancing the budget? <laughs> <laughs> uh, neither of those uh, things. Honestly, I would say our job is actually more important than those yeah, things yeah. you mentioned. But I, I really like the point. Everyone is 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 pounding to remind us that hey, that's a weird word. Uh, to every single time the uh, a Democratic president takes power, um, immediately the GOP goes, hey, we've got way too much debt you can't do anything because we've got so much debt. And for the past four years, we have gotten unprecedented levels of debt. Yep. And like, sure, the debt always goes up. That's yep. just the way it works. But this is like ridiculous amounts of debt. Yep. It, it's one are of the you saying that these unprecedented amounts of debt are very oh, presidential gross. amounts of debt? Gross. It, it's gross. it's that, that, funny that they say you, we have debt, you can't do anything. You're like, well, didn't you try to build a wall at one time? And they're like, shh, 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 shh. Yeah. So here's something else that's fun. And, and this, this is, is another. This is unprecedented, uh, unprecedented amounts of debt before the coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's something else that's fun. And this is another, you know, apolitical fact. The U.S. border with Mexico right now is more porous than it was when the than it yeah more porous than it was when Donald Trump took office, and the reason for that is because in a whole bunch of you know really inhospitable mountain ranges on the border, they built access roads for trucks and such to get <laughs> in and out to build the wall, and then they didn't actually build the wall, so now all those mountains have passes through them. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, although, I love it. I, I'm still going to love, like, if the the only funny thing Trump has ever said is when he was just like, oh yeah, we'll build these big walls. How are they going to get over them? Maybe a ladder. And you're just like, did you just, <laughs> you just gave them ideas. <laughs> yeah, like maybe you, a ladder. You, you know, you, the thing that they already use on the parts of the border that have walls. Yeah, like, it's just because like, 
it was just the border already has walls. Like it's just like so. Not funny. everywhere. He's just like, let me talk about how great my thing is and also disprove it at the exact same time. He's like, ah, Mexicans can never get through this. But if you need help, yeah. it's a ladder. <laughs> he's so incompetent. I'm not sure whether uh, he's purposefully. Uh, like working against himself or not yeah, exactly like, i honestly wouldn't be surprised if he was of the opinion that they're not smart enough to figure out to use a ladder not to say to be fair it's not like he gave them the great key to the big mystery of life using a ladder to get over things oh no it, kind of it's... the first thing that a five-year-old picked up yes <laughs> The, the Pretty reason that, it's so... the Mexicans that Either that or a America thought of it yeah. too. But here's the thing: the reason it's funny to me is because he sounded like he had mid-speech just realized that that was a possibility. Like that's the tone of voice yeah. he used, which is funny considering you just said it's the first thing a five-year-old would think of, <laughs> and it took him this long to be like, "I guess he could use a ladder, huh?" Yep. Oh. <laughs> like how your answer was or a trampoline. <laughs> or a trampoline. I mean, we're talking about five-year-olds. I mean, a trampoline's definitely oh, up there. Okay, yeah. Oh, the yeah. First things that a five-year-old will think. I mean, you could definitely use a trampoline to jump over something. Yeah, it just ends yeah. badly for you when you succeed. Well, what just if you put a trampoline a, on the other side? Yeah. What if you throw a trampoline while you're in the air? Yeah. Talking about just have two tram trampolines, one on top of the other, and then Yoshi jump off the second one. And you don't even have to feel bad about that. Okay. Do you think NASA is the best sequel to uh, the Third Reich? Not where I thought you were going with that. I, I didn't know where you were going with it because it sounded like he didn't. But I—I I was trying to think of the the best way to call them. Because I mean, almost all of our rocket scientists were Nazis. Uh, all of the pioneering ones. I mean, like the ones who had the good ideas that we then expanded on. Those were yeah. all Nazis. Yeah. So. It, it leads on that NASA is because of that. You know, I, I mean, I could I could say is like the atom bomb the best sequel, but that that's yeah, it very much was not. Eh, nah. Is nah. the atom bomb the best sequel to the Big Bang? <laughs> the worst. Sequel to the Big Bang. <laughs> not even uh, really a sequel to the Big Bang, I don't think. I mean, it is a big bang. I think that's all you can say. Yeah, I think like, that, like, in comparison, it's a pretty bad one. I think Ultra Novae are better sequels to the big bang. Because they're kind of miniaturized versions of what's going to happen. Uh, do you think Gentleman's Gang is the worst sequel to humor? <laughs> uh, I don't know about humor in general. We're definitely the worst sequel to uh, Game Grumps. I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah. I didn't know being a sequel to Game of Thrones was ever the intention. Yeah, I really hope it's not. Oh, really. I feel like early on in its life there were a lot of comparisons drawn, but I'm pretty sure we moved away from that. I don't know, did they even be on, on uh, Mike? No, they probably did. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> they, they probably did. What was the question? Uh, did they ever pee when on did they peed on them? Oh. Uh, but, probably okay, did. I should rephrase. Not on the microphone. Not... No, no, I, I understand. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah I know, but no, for everyone like who was did. not part of that, I did not no, pee no, on it's... my microphone. No, no, we, we have this extra <laughs> named Mike. I did not pee on my microphone. <laughs> I don't even was know it even on was. the stream? I thought it was just. Oh no, that uh, was... that, that's why I said on mic because it was not on the stream, but it was over the microphone to everyone yeah. else. Yeah, I'll rephrase and you'll you'll understand. I did not have urine relations uh, okay. with that microphone. 
uh, Trump, right? Oh, no, we all knew thing. what you yep, were saying. Correct. Yeah. Dom did. Uh, yeah. That's. I was just like, that doesn't sound like Richard Nixon. <laughs> and I think of presidents doing <laughs> that, bad things. That, that would be, I am not a pisser. <laughs> what did you whisper to The answer is Clinton. I still think hey, the answer is, uh, Trump, because he, he, he didn't have that golden shower thing all the time. That's true. He also oh, never denied no it. There's no proof! There's no proof! He's like, there's no proof, and like, so did he Is there it? no like, proof because no, he no drinks proof. some bleach afterwards to clean up? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time he looked right at the <clears> video <throat> All right, let's let's get off of politics. I think we've had enough politics. I think we've also had enough stream. Let's say we don't want to end on that note. Uh, so, candy lasagna. Who's the best sequel to the games? Uh, anyone. <laughs> In sync. <laughs> They're a boy band. Nickel pack. I, like, I would I would claim to go back as a better sequel than uh Look at this photograph <laughs> But I, I I will say I like my instinct because they are bo both boy bands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think Ska is the best sequel to uh, music. <laughs> I mean, that was great. That was the, uh, the like, sound of that plays in an eight year old's head and they get told they're gonna have extra mozzarella sticks. Exactly. <laughs> it's the most it's accurate description right of Ska I've like... ever heard in my life, and I'm just like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why it's so good. You hear it and you're just like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Can't help but be jammed. Yeah. Like, no one, li like, hears Ska and is trying to be serious about it. You just hear Ska and you're just like, yeah, I can jam to this. Alright. It looks like you're done. So we can be done. No. Break for the princess. I have to go shopping first. Can't you do that next time? <laughs> or in between? Do you not like? Sh no, I can't do it. I can't do it off screen. <laughs> no. What about the yeah, loyal you've viewers? You've definitely never gone and done stuff off stream for Breath of the Wild when you needed to go get supplies and you didn't want to waste all that time on stream. Yeah, I probably did that once. I don't really remember. Or twice. <laughs> Maybe again. No memory. This brain was not built to remember things. I don't know what it was built for, but it's not for that. This brain was built for walking. Do you think anime is the best sequel to uh, Saturday morning cartoons? I thought we're not talking about things with stories. <laughs> I guess we're, we're not yeah, talking about right. the story. You think Shonen themselves. is the best sequel yeah. to <laughs> Saturday Morning Cartoons? <laughs> oh. And do you think Dragon Ball Z is the best sequel to getting drunk and punching your neighbor for no reason? <laughs> no, but it is the best sequel to just standing out in the middle of your backyard and screaming for five hours straight. I don't know. I would say the opposite. <laughs> I'd say that's a better sequel than Dragon Ball Z. I mean that one was fine, but Hedgehala. I know it's it's not Hedgehala. N nothing's Hedgehala is better. Be, yeah, Hedgehala is the best sequel a sequel to music. <laughs> I'm gonna disagree with that one. But okay, fine. Anything made by I, Phil I, Collins I is the best it. sequel to music. <laughs> All right, we're done. Yay! Goodbye, everyone. Bye.